Jai Shri Ram. How many rishis contributed to the Vedas? Well, the number is 403. That is the grand total. 403. Uh, there are 43 families and we Hindus are all descendants of rishis. So that itself uh, highlights the essential equality. No one is inferior or superior. So this concept of inferiority and superiority was imposed on us by the Britishers who imposed the word caste. Caste is a C-A-S-T. Caste is a Portuguese word for class. Caste does not exist in Hinduism. Remember in Hinduism we have an extremely scientific uh, approach uh, towards society. The concepts are Jati, Kula, Varna and Gotra. Now Jati and Kula have become interchangeable terms these days. But Jati should be understood as lineage, lineage, bloodline, family tree. And among Jatis there could be a pedigreed Jati. That means if a person is a descendant of, uh, let us say, a great uh, Rishi, uh, then you are the Sion, S-C-I-O-N. Sion means the descendant of a great family, great royal family or great pedigreed family. Pedigree means highly distinguished Gotram. Right? Within the Gotrams, yes, there are some Rishis who have contributed more. So in that sense, uh, they are considered pedigreed. But that does not mean that the others are inferior in any way. Right? So, uh, Jati and Kula, unfortunately, today have become interchangeable terms. But Kula should be understood actually as the family profession. A child born into a family will acquire a natural talent, natural skill. He will be genetically also endowed because of the parentage. And because of the informal learning that takes place within the family environment, a child born of, let us say, a carpenter uh, 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 becomes a very good carpenter by the time he is barely 20 years old because of the informal learning at home and if he is trained in a gurukula properly in carpentry. It is also possible that nature, you know, sometimes does not endow a child born of a particular parentage with the same set of aptitudes. Aptitudes. Aptitude is the natural talent. So, that is why Varna is introduced in Hinduism. Vri means to choose. So, in Hinduism, we have this, uh, this what you call Leve, freedom. L double E W A Y. Leve means freedom. Remember, all these videos which I am making are basically aimed at educating Hindu youth. That is the reason I am using a lot of English and English vocabulary while discussing concepts. So, my purpose is very simple to awaken, to uh, inform the existing uh, generation of English savvy youth. And even otherwise, if uh, the youth are not good at English, they will learn English by listening to me. Since I have been teaching, uh, training GRE students, people taking GRE, and GRE, you know, is, uh, is a test uh, which will test your vocabulary, and it's pretty tough. So, and since I have been training students to take the GRE test for the last 23 years now, I'm pretty good at it. Therefore, I feel that I, I have a dual responsibility. Uh, not only Bhagavad Gita and uh, Sanatan Dharma, I will teach you English along with it. So you should not have any objections. You know, I have to explain all this because I have been told by some people to speak only in Telugu or something like that. I do not understand why people uh, make such, uh, you know, recommendations. They should enjoy what comes their way. See, you cannot tell an apple, hey, apple, Mr. Apple, please become like a mango. We want a little mangoness in you. What nonsense is that? Thank you very much. Okay. So, 43 families were there. Uh, see, I am collecting a lot of information from different sources. And at the same time, I want you to understand Hinduism, Sanatan Dharma better, so that you will be in a position to defend it whenever there is an assault on it. And you should also be in a position to attack them. See, attack is the best form of defense. Purva Paksha. Reverse the gaze. Study the Quran and the Bible. And I have finished studying them inside out. So, I am an extremely dangerous person actually. Because if by mistake they invite me to a debate and if they can guarantee that they won't slit my neck, I will rip them apart. Not physically. It will not take me much time to expose their holy books which are unfortunately full of lechery, butchery and treachery. Right? 
this is a simple sentence i have created to explain the contents of those holy books so called holy books ah so every hindu is a born of a born of a rishi now vri varna so within a kulam a child may not have you see in my family uh we are uh, three siblings okay uh, actually four but i don't have to tell you the whole story see my brother is more like a vaishya he is a businessman and uh, my sister is uh, partly vaishya and partly brahmin so not a f- again uh, not having the full characteristics of a brahmin or vaishya and i am cut out to be a brahmin because i am born in a brahmin family but and also my aptitudes are brahmin like i like to read constantly acquire knowledge and disseminate knowledge that's what a brahmin is expected to do and i am doing that and i am proud to be a brahmin that doesn't mean that i am arrogant or feel some kind of a superiority toward others so my brother unwittingly chose to be a businessman right so vaishya so he chose that and he is pretty successful and that's good he, if you are if you are a good vaishya good kshatriya good shudra good brahmin all are moksha yogya moksha yogya brahmin so varna applies only to those who are moksha yogya if they are not moksha yogya Uh, then uh, these varnas don't apply to them okay so if they are not uh, mumukshus if they are merely bubukshus bubukshu means materialist mumukshu means a spiritualist who is desirous of achieving moksha so bubukshu mumukshu please learn these words okay materialist and uh, uh, the mumukshu is a spiritualist who seeks salvation and then you have gotra gotra means the descent from a common male ancestor so you cannot marry your sister so sagotra marriages are not allowed uh, otherwise you know that kind of a system is there in the abrahamic religions uh, in both christianity and islam they marry their first cousins so the children born uh, have a high probability of acquiring uh, congenital diseases down syndrome uh, autism Uh, because recessive genes come together our rishis knew this thing tens of thousands of years ago so sagotra is not allowed yeah? you cannot marry sapinda sapinda also means you know uh, seven generations of father son father son grandson so that's called sapinda that means the same particle so you cannot marry sapinda sapinda is not allowed again the, these will lead to uh, diseased offspring right so our is uh, based on eugenics e u g e n i c s eugenics means the science of selective breeding to improve the race unfortunately in the others there is dysgenics dysgenical d y s g e n i c s bad breeding okay so because they marry their own sisters uh, prophet abraham in uh, the bible admits that he married his sister sara abraham's abraham is called ibrahim in islam So Abraham is a very important prophet some 4000 years ago he is believed to have existed he married and openly admitted that he married his sister and he actually tries to defend it on the grounds that the father of Abraham and father of Sarah are the same but the mother of Abraham and the mother of Sarah are different therefore he he can marry again this is a weak argument irrational uh, it leads to of spring which can be uh, who can be suffering from congenital diseases like autism down syndrome and many other extraordinary i mean really horrible conditions are possible anyway i don't want to get deep into that now because we are talking about rishis we are all rishi tan santati every hindu is born of a rishi so remember jati kula varna gotra these are all extremely scientific and our system is based on eugenics so that is why shankaracharya said haindava sodara sarve na hindu patito bhavet mama diksha hindu raksha mama mama mantra samanata mama diksha hindu raksha mama mantra mama mantra samanata so anyway so 43 families total number is 403 403 actual numbers of rishis in the uh, in the whole of the vedas now and vedic rishis are known as mantra drashta rishis 
mantra drashta they envisaged the mantras from god divine brahman or krishna uh, in their mind's eye in their mind's eye and brought them to the people mantra drashta and remember rishikas are also there this is the hinduism is the only religion where female feminine deities are there whose names are pronounced before the uh, masculine or male deities and also uh, if you want to call them prophets go ahead so rishika means a female prophet uh, roughly i think about 40 are there so the criteria for being called a vedic rishi is the person must be a mantra drashta that means he should have envisaged in his mind's eye these mantras therefore actually there are so many other people who can be considered as equivalent to these rishis but who have not been mentioned in the uh, four veda samhitas i will read out their names also later of course you know veda vyasa veda vyasa is not uh, listed as a rishi and uh, i think uh, veda vyasa should be considered a rishi and for that matter even valmiki is not considered a rishi right so veda vyasa valmiki and many others ashtavakra apastamba ashvalaya brihadaswa bhaka so many are there i will read that out later now i want you to listen to simply the names of these rishis so the points i want you to remember is that every hindu is born of a rishi we are all rishi santati so there is no question of anybody considering Uh, somebody as superior or inferior this is an artificial kind of class consciousness thrust on us by that word caste which never exists uh, never existed in the gita or the vedas of course these marxist writers and atrocity literature producers like the apologists of christianity the muslim apologist and the christian apologist now please understand apologist means a p o l o g i s t means a person who writes in defense of a controversial belief system or a controversial idea <clears throat> now uh, if you have read the bible and the quran you will know why i am saying that these people uh, are actually apologists even uh, newton was a christian apologist the bible and quran are so full of irrational ideas which cannot be defended by any normal sensible educated mature human being and they t- they have the cheek to criticize us <laughs> and unfortunately because of the stupid macaulay education system many hindus have become macaulay putras and they have got so colonized mentally that they think that everything western is superior and everything hindu is inferior that is why many fools convert also these people who convert uh, for me i liken them to street dogs you know street dogs also cross roads yeah, why does a street dog cross road i think there are only two reasons better mating prospects better eating prospects <laughs> so sometimes while crossing the road dogs die on the road itself because a lorry hits them so uh, this is the case of many people who convert after leaving sanatan dharma and going to other cults uh, where uh, maybe they get better mating and better eating but sometimes they die while crossing and eventually they'll be lost anyway because these cults uh, are are extremely uh, well benighted ignorant i think that's a mild word so like i said there are 43 families of rishis and in each family there are many uh, rishis and rishikas so the total is 403 well that is the number you can apply to rigveda and as you know Uh, many riks the rigvedic mantras are called rik the same mantras are there uh, to a large extent in samaveda only thing is they are sung in tune and uh, some other uh, mantras are also there in the yajur and atharvana i'll just try to read at least we should listen to their names once uh, the rishis and rishikas now there are two types ha huh? ekaka rishi ekaki rishi and grihastha rishi ekaki means one who is uh, alone who lived alone grihastha means a householder who lived with his family so the names i am going to read out akrishta masha akaksho maujwan agnayo aishwara 
ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಪಾವಕ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಶೌಚಿಕ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಗೃಹಪತಿ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಯಾರ್ ವಿಶ್ ವಿಷ್ಟ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಯಾರ್ ವಿಷ್ಟ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಚಕ್ಷುಷ ಅಂಗ್ ಔರವ ಅತ್ರಿ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಅದಿತಿ ದಾಕ್ಷಾಯಣಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟು ದೇಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅದಿತಿ ಅರುಣೋ ವೈತಹಬ್ಯ ವೈತಹಬ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರಿಷಿ ಅಸಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಯೋಗಿ ಉಪಸ್ಥುತೋ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ವರ್ಷ್ತಿ ಹಬ್ಯ ವಾರ್ಷಿ ವಾರ್ಷ್ತಿ ಹಬ್ಯ ಉರುಕಶಯ ಅಮಹೀಯವ ಊರ್ವಶಿ ರಿನಂಛಾಯ ರಿಷಭೋ ವೈರಾಜ ಶಕ್ವರೋ ವಾ ದೃಷ್ಟಲಿಂಗ ಕಪೋಟೋ ನೈರಿತ್ಯ ಕಪೋಟೋ ಕಪೋಟೋ ನೈರಿತ್ಯ ಕವಾಶ ಐಲೂಷ ಕವಾಶ ಐಲೂಷ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಶೂದ್ರ ಹು ವಾಸ್ ಎಲಿವೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಭ್ರಮಿಲ್ ಕವಾಶ ಐಲೂಷ ಕುಲ್ಮಲ ಶೈಲೂಷಿ ಗಯ ಪ್ಲಾತ ಗೋಧಾ ಋಷಿಕ ಜುಹುರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜಾಯ ಜುಹುರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜಾಯ ತಾನವ ಪಾರ್ಥ್ಯ ಪೌರುಕುತ್ಸ್ಯ ತ್ರಿಶಿರಾಸ್ತ್ವಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ತ್ರಿಶಿರಾಸ್ತ್ವಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ತ್ರೈರುಣ ಸ್ತ್ರೈ ಭೃಷ್ಣ ತ್ರೈರುಣ ಸ್ತ್ರೈ ಭೃಷ್ಣ ತ್ವಸ್ತ ಗರ್ವಕರ್ತ ದುವಸ್ಯುರ್ ವಾಂದನ್ ದ್ಯುವಸ್ಯುರ್ ದುವಸ್ಯುರ್ ವಾಂದನ್ ದೇವ ಮುನಿರೈ ರಾಮಾದ್ ರಾಮದ್ ರಾಮದ್ ದೇವಾ ದೇವ ಪಿರಾಶ್ರಿಸೇನ ದ್ಯುತನೋ ಮಾರುತಿ ನದ್ಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರಿಷಿ ಪ್ರಣಯೋ ಅಸುರ ಪೃಥುರಾ ವೈನ್ಯ ಪೃಷ್ಣ್ಯೋ ಅಜ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಪರಮೇಷ್ಠಿ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿರ್ವಾಚ್ಯ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ಲೋಕ್ಯ ಭಾವಯ ಭಾವಯವ್ಯ ಭೃಗು ವರುಣಿ ಭೃಗು ವರುಣಿ ಮತಸ್ಯ ಸಾಮಂದ್ ಮತಸ್ಯ ಮನು ಸಾವರನ ಮನು ರಾಪಸ್ವ ಮರುತ ಮರುತ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಷಿ ಸೊ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಂಧಾತ ಮಂಧಾತ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಮಂಧಾತ ಮರುತ ಯೌನಾಶ್ಚ ಮುರ್ದಲೋ ಭಾಮಾರಶ್ವ ರೋಮಾಶ ರೋಮಾಶ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಲೂಷೋ ಧನಾಕ ಧಾನಾಕ ರೋಮಾಶ ಇಸ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ರೋಮಾಶ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವತ್ಸಪ್ರಿ ವಾಲಂದನ್ ವಭ್ರೋ ವೈಖಾನಸ ರಿಷಿ ವೈಖಾನಸ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವರುಣ ವರುಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಗಾಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ರಿಷಿ ವಶೋ ವಶೋ ಅಶವ್ಯ ವಶೋ ಅಶವ್ಯ ವಶುಮನ ರೋಹಿತಾಶ್ವ 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 ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಮನ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲಿ ನೇಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ರೋಹಿತಾಶ್ವ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರಿಷಿ ರೋಹಿತಾಶ್ವ ವಾಗಾಂಭ್ರಿಣಿ ಮಸ್ ಬಿ ಅ ರಿಷಿಕ ವಾಗಾಂಭ್ರಿಣಿ ವಿವಸ್ವಾನಾದಿತ್ಯ ವಿವಸ್ವಾನ್ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ವಿವಸ್ಮನ ವಾಯಸ್ವ ವಿಶ್ವಾವ ಸುರ್ದೇವ್ ಗಂಧವ ವೃಷೋ ಜಾನ ವೈಖಾನಶ ಶತಂ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಏಕಾಕೀಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಏಕಾಕೀಸ್ ಏಕಾಕಿ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಶಿಬಿ ರೌಷಿನಾರ ಶ್ರಾ ಶ್ರಧಾ ಕಾಮಾಯಿ ಸಪ್ತಿರ್ ವಾಜಂಭರ ಶರ್ಮಾ ದೇವಶೂನಿ ಶಿಕಿತ ನಿವಾರಿ ಸುಧಾ ಪೈಜವಾನ ಸುಮಿತ್ರ 
ವಾಧಿರಶ್ವ ಸುವೇದ ಸೌರುಷಿ ಸುನುರಾಭವ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಾವಿತ್ರಿ ಹವಿರ್ಧನ ಅಂಗಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಋಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಟು ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಗೌತಮ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗೌತಮ ರಿಷಿ ದೇ ಇನ್ ಗೌತಮಾಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ಋಷಿ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ಟೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅತ್ರಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಸೊ ಗೌತಮ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಅತ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಅತ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೌತಮ ರಿಷಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಟೂ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಷಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಾಂ ಓಕೆ ಏಕಾಕಿ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಾಂ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರೀಡ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಆಗ್ನೇಯ ಫೋರ್ ಆಗ್ನೇಯ ರಿಷಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಕೇತು ವತ್ಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿಯೇನ ಅಥರ್ವಣ ರಿಷಿ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಟು ಭಿಷಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೃಹದಿವ ಅಪತ್ಯ ಅಪತ್ಯ ತ್ರಿತ ದ್ವಿತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭುವನ ಅಂಗೀರಸ ರಿಷಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅಂಗೀರಸ ಅಭಿಭರ್ತ ಅಹಮೀಯು ಅಯಾಸ್ಯ ಉಚ್ಛಟ್ಯ ಉರು ಊರ್ಧ್ವಸಾಧ್ಯ ಕುತಸ ಕೃತಯಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಘೋರೆ ತ್ರಿರಾಶ್ಚಿ ದಿವ್ಯ ಧರುಣ ಧ್ರುವ ನೃಮೇಧ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಪುರುಮೀಲ ಪುರುಮೇಧ ಪುರುಹನ್ಮ ಪುರುದಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಚೇತ ಪ್ರಚೇತ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ನೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಭುಭಶು ಪ್ರಿಯಮೇಧ ಬರು ಬಿಂದು ಬೃಹನ್ಮತಿ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ಭಿಕ್ಷು ಮೂರ್ಧನ್ವಾನ್ ರಾಹುಗಣ ವಸುರೋಚ್ಛಿಷ ವಿರೂಪ ವಿರೂಪಾಕ್ಷ ಏನೋ ವಿರೂಪ ವಿಹಭ್ಯ ವೀತಹಭ್ಯ ವ್ಯಶ್ರವ ಶಿಶು ಶ್ರುತಕಾಕ್ಷ ಸಂವನಾನ ಸಂವರ್ತ ಸಪ್ತಾಗು ಸವ್ಯ ಸುಕಶ ಸುದಿತಿ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಸಮೋರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಹರಿಮಂತ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಸ್ತೂಪ ಅರ್ಚನ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಸ್ತೂಪ ಶಶ್ವತ್ಯಾಂಗೀರಸ ವಿಶ್ವಾಕ ಕಾರ್ಷಿಣ ಶಾಕಪೂತೋ ನಾರಮೇಧ ಸಿಂಧುಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಪ್ರೈಮೇಧ ದೀರ್ಘತಮ ಓಚ್ಛತ್ಯ ಕಾಕ್ಷಿವಾನ ಕಾಕ್ಷಿವಾನ ದೈರ್ಘತಮಸ ಕಾಕ್ಷಿವತಿ ಘೋಷ ಸುಹಸ್ತೋ ಘೋಷೇಯ ಶಬರ್ ಕಾಕ್ಷಿವತ ಸುಕ್ರೀತಿ ಕಾಕ್ಷಿವತ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಗಿರಸ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ರೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆತ್ರೇಯ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಆತ್ರೇಯ ಅತ್ರಿಭೌಮ ಇನ್ ಆತ್ರೇಯಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆತ್ರಿಭೌಮ ಅರ್ಚನಾನ ಅವಸ್ಯು ಈಶಾ ಉರುಚಕ್ರಿ ಏವಯಾಮಾರುತ ಕುಮಾರ ಗಯ ಗವಿಸ್ಥಿರ್ ಗಾತು ಗೋಪವಾನ್ ದ್ಯುಮ್ನ ದ್ವಿತ ಪುರು ಪೌರ ಪ್ರತಿಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿಪ್ರಭಾ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾನು ಪ್ರತಿಭಾನು ಬಭ್ರೋ ಯಜಾತ ರಾತಹಬ್ಯ ವಾವ್ರಿ ಬುಸುಶ್ರುತ ಬಸುಶ್ರುತ ವಿಶ್ವಸಾಮ ಶ ಶ್ಯಾವಾಶ್ವ ಶ್ಯಾವಾಶ್ವ ಶ್ರುತವಿತ್ ಸತ್ಯಾಶ್ರವ ಸದಾಪ್ರಿನ ಸಪ್ತವಾಧ್ರಿ ಸಾಸ ಸುತಂಭರ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ 
ವಸುಯವ ಆತ್ರೇಯ ಅಂಧಿಗು ಶ್ಯಾವಾಶ್ರಿವ ಅಪಾಲ ವಿಶ್ವವರ ಬಾಹುಬ್ರಿಕ್ತ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐಂದ್ರ ರಿಷಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಅಪ್ರತೀರಥ ಅಪ್ರತೀರಥ ಜಯ ಲವ ಬಸುಕ್ರ ವಿಮಾದ ವೃಷಕಪಿ ಸರ್ವಹರಿ ಇಂದ್ರ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ಮುಸ್ಕ್ವಾನ್ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೈಕುಂಠ ಇಂದ್ರಾಣಿ ಇಂದ್ರಸ್ಯ ಸ್ನುಷಾ ಇಂದ್ರ ಮಾತರೋ ದೇವೋ ಜಾಮಾಯ ಶಚಿ ಪೂಲೋಮಿ ಶಚಿ ಪೂಲೋಮಿ ಶಚಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ವೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂದ್ರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶಚಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂದ್ರಾಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಪೌಲೋಮಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಷಿ ಪತ್ನಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಕನ್ವ ಕಾನ್ವ ಕಾನ್ವ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವ ಗೋತ್ರಂ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ನ ಆಲ್ ಗೋತ್ರಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಯು ಇರಿಂಬಿಥಿ ಕುರುಶುತಿ ಕುಸಿದಿ ಕ್ರಿಶ ತ್ರಿಶೋಕ ದೇವತಾ ದೇವಾತಿಥಿತಿಥಿ ದೇವಾತಿಥಿ ನಾಭಾಕ ನಾರದ ನಾರದ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೀಪಾತೀತಿ ಪರ್ವತ ಪುನರ್ವತ್ಸ ಪೃಷ್ಟಿಗು ಪ್ರಿಷಧ್ರ ಪ್ರಗಾಥ ಪ್ರಸ್ಕನ್ವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತೀತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತೀತಿ ಮಾತರಿಶ್ವ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾತರಿಶ್ವ ಮೇಧಾತೀತಿ ಮೇಧಾತೀತಿ ಮೇಧ್ಯ ಮೇಧ್ಯಾತೀತಿ ಸೊ ಮೇಧಾತೀತಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೇಧ್ಯಾತೀತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ವತ್ಸ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಕನ್ವ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ವತ್ಸ ಶಶಕರ್ಣ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಗು ಸಧ್ವಂಸ ಸುಪರ್ಣ ಸೋಭರಿ ಕುಶಿಕ ಸೌಭರ್ ಅಶ್ವಸುಕ್ತಿ ಕಾನ್ಯವಾನ ಗೋಸೂಕ್ತಿ ಕಾನ್ಯವಾನ ಕಲಿಪ್ರಗಾತ ಪ್ರಗಾಥ ಕಲಿಪ್ರಾಗಾಥ ಕಲಿಪ್ರಾಗಾಥ ಧರ್ಮಪ್ರಾಘಾತ ಧರ್ಮಪ್ರಾಘಾತ ಹರಿಯತ್ ಪ್ರಾಘಾತ ಪ್ರಾಘಾತ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಟೆನ್ ಅವತ್ಸರ ಅಸಿತ್ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪೋ ಮಾರೀಚ ದೇವಲ್ ನೈಧ್ರುವಿ ಮೈ ಗೋತ್ರಮ್ ಇದು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ತ್ರೈರಿಷ್ಯಂ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಅವತ್ಸರ ನೈಧ್ರುವ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಅವತ್ಸರ ನೈಧ್ರುವ ಸೊ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪ ಸನ್ ಅವತ್ಸರ ಅವತ್ಸರ ಸನ್ ನೈಧ್ರುವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈಧ್ರುವ ಸನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಡಿಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಧ್ರುವ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಭೂತಾಂಶ ರೇಭ ರೇಭಸುನು ವಿವ್ರಿಹ ಕಾಶ್ಯಪೌ ಸೊ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಹೂ ಯೋರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟಾರ್ 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 ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟಾರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾ ಗಿವರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಾ ಎನಿವೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಾ ಗಿವರ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಜಾ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತ್ಯ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ನೈನ್ ರಿಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಪತಂಗ ಪತಂಗ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪತಂಗ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಮಾರ್ವಾಡಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರಜಾವಾನ್ ಯಕ್ಷ ಮನಾಶನ ಯಜ್ಞ ವಿಮದ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸವರನ ಸವರನ ಹಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಟಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಭಾರದ್ವಾಜ ರಿಷಿ ಲೆವೆನ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ವೇದಿಕ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ವ ಗರ್ಗ ನರ ಪಾಯು ಬಾಸು ಶಾಶ 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 ಶಿರಿಂಬಿತ ಶುನಹೋತ್ರ ಸಪ್ರಥ ಸುಹೋತ್ರ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಭಾರ್ಗವ ರಿಷಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇತ ಕವಿ ಕೃತೃ ಗುತ್ಸಮಾಡ ಗುತ್ಸಮಾಡ ಕ್ಷವನ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ನೇಮ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ವೇನ ಸೋಮಾಹುತಿ ಸ್ಯುಮರಾಶ್ಮಿ ಉಷ್ಣಕಾವ್ಯ ಉಷ್ಣಾಕಾವ್ಯ ಕೂರ್ಮೋ ಗರ್ತ್ಸಮಾಡ ಗರ್ತ್ಸಮಾಡ ರಾಮೋ ಜಾಮಾದಜ್ಞ ರಾಮೋ ಜಮಾಮಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾತರಶನ್ 
Rishi Vatarashan, seven Rishis from his family. Rishya Shringa, uh, Rishya Shringa is uh, Sri Rama's uh, brother in law. Aitasha, Karikrata, Juti, Vata, Vata Juti, Vata Juti or Vata, Vata Juti, Vipra Juti, Vrishanaka, Yamayana, Yamayana Rishi, Yamayana. Seven rishis in his family. Urdhva Krishan, Kumara, Daman, Sarvadaman Banerjee is there, no? Devashrava, Devashrava, Mathita, Shankha, Sankushuta, Agastya, five from his family. Drila, Drila Chuta, Agastya Shishya, Lopa Mudra is Agastya's wife, she was a Rishika. Agastya Patni, Agastya Swasa Darha Chuta Vashishta, 13 rishis from his family. Indra Pramati Upamanyu Karnashruta Chitramaha Jaumanika Prathan Manyu Mrilika Basukra Brishagana Vyagrapat Shakti Vashishta Putra and the sons of Vashishta. Kautsa to Durmitra Umitra Brahma Rishi to Vishwakarma Sadhana Maduchandas Agamarshana Jeta Maitra Varuni Vashishta Agastya Vatayana Anila Anil Ula Anil is the name of a Vedic Rishi Varuni Brugu and Satya Dhritihi Vasukra Basukarna Basukrit Shaktya Gaurviti Parashara Sauhotra Ajamila Purumila Purumila Sthora Agni Yuta Agni Yupa Tarksha Arishtanemi Suparna Tarksha Putra Vishwamitra Twelve Rishis from his family Kaushika Aishirati Vishwamitra Gadhina Ashtaka, Rishabha, Kata, Deva, Vrata, Purana, Prajapati, Maduchanda, Renu, Gati, Kaushika, Utakila, Katya, Vairupa, Rishi, 4, Astradanstra, Nabah, Prabhedan, Shata, Prabhedana, Shah, Shadri, Vaivaswata, Rishi, 3 from his family, Manu, Vaivaswata, Manu, Yama, Yami, Yami is the sister of Yama. Sharanga, Jarita, Drona. Drona is also the name of Rishi. Sharisrikwa. Sharisrikwa. Sthambamitra. Sarpa. Sarpa Rishi. Four from his family. Arbuda, Kadraveya. Jaratkarma, Airavat. Urdhva, Grava, Arbudi. Sarparagi Shaurya Rishi Shaurya, four from his family. Shaurya Abhitapa Dharmachakshu Bibrata Soma Rishi, four from his family. Soma Buddha Saumya Ayatir Ayatir Nahusha Nahusha is there. Gautama Rishi, four Gautama Nodha Bamadeva. Ekadyu, Ekadyur, Nordhasa. Gaupayana, four. Bandhu, Viprabandhu, Shrutabandhu, Subandhu. Tapasa Rishi. Tapasa Manyu, you must have heard. Tapasa Manyu, Manyu Suktam. Tapasa Rishi, Dharma, Agni, Manyu. Three from his family. Daivo Dasi. Paruchepa, Pratardana, Anana, Ananata. Brahaspatya, four from his family. Agni, Tapur Murdha, Bhardwaja, Shanyu. Bharata, three. Ashwamedha, Deva Vata, Deva Shrava, Manavarishi, Chakshu, Nahusha, Nabhanedishta, Sharyata, Vama Devya, Anhomuk, uh, Brihadukta, Murdhanvana 
and Varshagir, Rishi Varshagir, I heard this name, Varshagir. Six are there from his family. Ambarisha, Rijashwa, Rijashwa, Rijashwa looks like a very nice masculine man, name. Rijashwa, Rijashwa, Bhaimana, Bhayama, Bhayamana, Sahadeva, Suradha, Sindhu Dvipa, Rijashwa. Okay, that I am beginning to like that name, Rijashwa. So, this is the name of a Vedic Rishi belonging to the family of Varshagir. Rishi Kashyapa is also accredited for a great book on engineering and architecture known as Shilpa Shastra. Science of temples, palaces, idols and statues. Rishi Kashyapa is the author of Shilpa Shastra also. Regarding Gritsamada, Gritsamada Bhargava Shaunak. He is the Rishi of both Rigveda and Samavada. Eh? And uh, Gritsamada was one among the family of Brigu. So he is called Bhargava. There is an interesting story. Uh, he became the foster child of Rishi Shaunak and became popular as Shaunak Gritsamada. In the Mahabharata, he is mentioned as son of Vita Habya, a Kshatriya king. Once he took shelter in the hermitage of Bhrugu, you see, and his enemies came there and inquired about him. Bhrugu said there is no Kshatriya here and Rishi's words cannot be wrong. So Vita Habya became a Brahmin and his son Gritsamada too became a Brahmin. From there on they were treated as one from the family of Bhrugu. Gritsamada was a great devotee of Sri Ganesha who came in person to the Rishi to bless him. Interesting story. A Rishi's words can never be wrong. Even if he utters something which is wrong, that will become right. Therefore, the lesson is be careful when you are dealing with uh, holy men, not of the other desert cults. They are scoundrels. <laughs> they are rogues. But when you are dealing with Sanat and Dharma, you better be careful. Jai Shri Ram. Hang on, hang on. We have so much more information. Gautama Rishi wrote a book known as Nyaya Shastra. It is the science of logic. Huh? And it has five chapters and five thirty-seven sutras. And he also wrote Gautama Dharma Sutra and uh, Bhridda Gautama Smriti. Parashara Shakatya. Parashara Rishi, according to Sayana Bhashya, 1.65 He is the son of Shakti and Adashyanti and he is the grandson of Vashishta. So Vashishta Shakti. Shakti's wife was Adashyanti and their son was Parashara. So Parashara Shakatya was the grandson of Vashishta. Vashishtasya Sutaha Shakti Shakte Putra Parashara. Parashara married Satyavati, the daughter of a fisherman, and he became the father of Vedavyasa. And Parashara is the grandfather of Shukadev. Okay. The, the word Parashara means a person who breaks the web of vices and sins just by one look, by his presence and look. Parashrinati Papaniti Parasaraha Parashrinati Parashrinati Papaniti Parasaraha So Parashara is the Rishi of the first mandal of the Rig Veda from Sukta 165 to 73. Parashara is also the original narrator of Vishnu Purana in which he defined Bhagavan. Bhagasyasti iti Bhagavan, Aishwarasya Samagrasya, Viryasya, Yashasa, Shriyaha, Jnana Vairagya, Yoschaiva, Shannam, Bhaga, iti Rana. That was the definition given by Parashara Rishi of God. Parashara Rishi also wrote the Parashara Smriti, Brihat Parashara Smriti, which is full of religious codes for human beings, principles that govern our life, duties of all the four Varnas. Uh, 
Rishika Romasha. Uh, she is the other. She is the uh, Rishika of one Richa of the Rig Veda. One, one twenty six seven. And uh, several mantras of Sama Veda also. She is also known as a Brahma Vadini. Romasha Nama Brahma Vadini. Romasha was the daughter of Brahaspati and the wife of King Bhavaya Bhavayabya. And Atri Bhauma. Atri is one of the greatest rishis among the Sapta rishis. He was a meteorologist also. Science of meteorology, he wrote a book on that. Uh, he explains different types of clouds, rains, lightning, thunderbolts. He was Atri was the mind born son of Brahma. He it is believed that he came out of the eyes of Brahma. Akshano Atri. That is why he is called Atri. Akshano Atri. He is the husband of Mahasati Anasuya. She was the daughter of Daksha. So uh, Atri's wife was Anasuya. It is said that once she was tested by the guards of the Trinity. Uh, who asked her to feed them naked so she was uh, puzzled what to do so she asked atri who told her very simple transform them into babies and feed them that's what she did so brahma vishnu mahesh all three became babies with her devotional power that is why she is known as mahasati anasuya and because Uh, brahma vishnu mahesh all of them were now the children so that is how rishi atri became the father of rishi dattatreya who actually represents all three vishnu hmm? that 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 way rishi atri became the father of rishi dattatreya part of vishnu of rishi durvasa durvasa is a part of shiva and rishi soma uh, who is the who is a part of brahma So Atri became the father of Dattatreya, who is a part of Vishnu. Krishna himself is Dattatreya actually. Uddhava Gita Krishna describes. Maharshi Atri is also described as a Prajapati. He is an emblem of personification of knowledge, penance, morality, devotion, and the cosmic power of mantras. And Rama went to their ashram for to acquire knowledge. even tulsidas mentions in ramcharit manas aranya kanda lucid description of that sublime meeting between sri rama and maharshi atri and atri sings welcoming rama namami bhakta vatsalam kripalu shil komalam bhajami te padambujam akami nama swadhamadam aditi is also a rishika rishika aditi and uh, she is known as the uh, rishika of the whole sukta which is known as vaishwadeva sukta vaishwadeva sukta now garga bharadwaja garga gotriya garga was the son of bharadwaja and he became a famous rishi garga gotra is also established and garga was called to solemnize the namakarana of shri krishna and balarama garga rishi gave them the names uh, krishna and he explained ka means kamalapati ra means rama and sha means shadgunapati and uh, krishna na means narasimha and a means uh, agni bhuk agni bhuk hmm? krishna says bhuktaram yagna tapasam sarvaloka maheshwaram so he is the recipient of all oblations and the two dots the visarga represent nara narayana that is the meaning of the name krishna as described by garga rishi who gave the name krishna to krishna Gargarishi also wrote the Jyotisha Shastra, science of astrology, and Shakuna Shastra, which is the treatise on good and bad effects of different omens. Jamadagni Bhargava, 
Jamad Agni was the son of uh, Rishi Ruchika and Satyavati and uh, he is an incarnation of Vishnu and Jamad Agni is credited with the creation of a rare mantra called uh, Sasarpari Sasarpari and uh, once it happened that his friend Vishwamitra fell unconscious while performing a yajna uh, Jamadagni used the mantra and brought Vishwamitra back to consciousness and Jamadagni knew the signs of bringing a dead person back to life. He brought his wife Renuka back to life after Parashurama beheaded her on his command. And uh, when Jamadagni was killed, Parashurama used this technique and brought his father back to life. Bharadwaja, one son was Yavakrida and the other was Dronacharya. Acharya Drona. Of course, uh, Bharadwaja's another famous son is Gargi, Garga, Garga, who gave Krishna the name Krishna. Narada Rishi is also there, Narada Kanva. So, Aitreya Brahmana says that he is the Purohit, he was the Purohit of Kari, uh, Raja Harishchandra. Narada is declared as the disciple of Brahaspati. Maitrayana Samhita associates him with uh, Sanat Kumar. Narada is also known as the mind-born son of Brahma, who remained a bachelor throughout his life. He was the disciple of Sanat Kumar. Hmm? Other than Brahma, he is the only being to get the Vedas directly from Brahman. Narada had several lives. In one of his previous lives, Narada was the son of a maid servant who was in the service of Rishis and uh, Narada acquired lot of uh, knowledge, jnana, because of his association with rishis and tapasvis. And at the age of five, he was initiated by the rishis with the name Narayana. Yeah, and he started chanting Narayana. Narada, in a next life, he uh, Krishna gave him a spiritual body and he became a great devotee of Krishna. He was also a mind-born son in another life. So, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 10.25 and Srimad Bhagavata Purana also that among the celestial rishis I am Narada. So, Narada is an incarnation of Krishna. He is also known as Deva Rishi. His contributions to music are immense. He has given the world a rare book on music known as Sangeeta Makarandam. Sangeeta Makarandam. So Narada claims to be a troubleshooter, but uh, very often he is a troublemaker also. Narada authored many books. Narada Pancharatra, Narada Samhita, Narada Bhakti Sutra, Naradiya Parivrajaka Upanishad, Sangeeta Makaranda, Narada Purana, so many. The prolific author Narada. Vashishta Maitra Varuni. Uh, seventh Mandala is known as Vashishta Mandala. He was also a mind-born son of Brahma and he was the son of Maitra, Varun and Urvashi. Among family priests, I am Rishi Vashishta. In the Bhagavatam, Krishna says he is Vashishta. And Devi Arundhati, Arundhati was his wife. She was the daughter of Manu and Satarupa. Never separated from her husband. Vashishta had a hundred sons. His twelve sons were rishis. They were Manyu, Upamanyu, Vyagrapat, Mrilika, Vrishagana, Pratha, Indra, Ramati, Dhyumanika, Chitamaha, Karnashruta, Vasukra and Shakti. His four grandsons were also Vedic rishis. They are Vasukri, Vasukra, Vasukarna, Vasukra, Parashara, Shaktya and Gauraviti Shaktya. So Vashishta gave us the mantra which blesses us to live for hundred winters, hundred years. Pashyema Sharada Shadam, Jivema Sharada Shadam. Contribution of Vashishta, this mantra. And incidentally, Narayana Rishi is the Rishi of the famous Purusha Sukta of Rigveda 1090. Narayana Rishi is the Rishi of the famous Purusha Sukta. And Rishi Narayana is again Krishna's incarnation. 
and uh, atharva atharva atharvan is the most important rishi of atharva veda he was also an expert surgeon surgeon and he was uh, an expert in stitching the jaws or fixing the heart in place so cardio surgeon cardiologist and a surgeon and now finally there are many other rishis who are not included as vedic rishis but deserve the same respect veda vyasa or krishna dvaipavana dvaipayana ashtavakra apastamba ashwalya brihadaswa bhaka charaka dadichi dhaumya dattatriya dattatriya is the son of atriya and anasuya he is an incarnation of vishnu he taught prahlada the difference between atma and paramatma he helped kartavirya arjuna and gave him 1000 hands avadhuta geeta containing 271 shlokas is attributed to dattatriya dattatriya is mentioned in uh, uh, uddhava geeta by krishna so jaratkaru jaratkaru is another great rishi not mentioned as a vedic rishi but should be included jaimini kanada 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 rishi is the author of vaisheshika darshana vaisheshika uh, kanada stressed on the speciality of a thing or the inner eternal quality nine eternal elements of substances earth water light air sky time space mind and soul these he described and valmiki son of pracheta muni pracheta muni so valmiki is not counted as a rishi but i think valmiki should also be included eh? and valmiki also wrote yoga vashishtam 32000 verses akshara lakshana with deals with which deals with mathematics in general geometry algebra trigonometry in particular akshara lakshana science and physics uh, uh, minerals uh, and then kapila sankhya darshana he kapila also wrote chintamani which uh, which is a book on prayers and how to do prayer katyayana katyayana smriti kandu rishi kandu not included natyayana hmm, prayoga he wrote a book on music and all that khara khara was a demon rishi a demon demon and shiva gave him three lingas which he installed at three places vaikom ettumanur and kaduthuruti khara was a demon rishi yagyavalkya son of devavrata devavrata his rishi his ashram is there in mithila bihar he married maitreyi who herself became a rishika yagyavalkya was a disciple of surya he divided yajurveda into shukla yajurveda and krishna yajurveda he is the founder of shukla yajurveda he spent uh, most of his days in the court of king janaka and he also composed yagyavalkya smriti but he is not recorded or listed as a vedic rishi and then vibhandaka vaishampayana vyagrapada vaishampayana so vaishampayana was interested with yajurveda by his guru vedavyasa vaishampayana narrated the mahabharata to king janmejaya the grandson of uh, the pandavas then other rishi some more uh, rishis who should be included vyagrapada vyagrapada pada vatsyayana uh, he wrote kama sutra and ratna pariksha vishrava vishrava son of pulastya rishi vishrava rishi is the father of kubera and ravana kumbhakarna and vibhishana were his sons from another wife kaikasi and he, he is also the mother uh, kaikasi was the mother of uh, surpanaka he is all uh, vishravas was also known as suta uh, in all probability he was known as suta and he recited like shukadeva both the bhagavata purana to the rishis in naimisharanya and the mahabharata at the hermitage of shaunagarishi vishrava interesting isn't it vishrava is the son of ravana and he narrated mahabharata uh, at the hermitage of shaunaka so 
ಉತ್ಥಯ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಋಷಿ ಅಂಗೀರಸ ಉದ್ದಾಲಕ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ನಚಿಕೇತ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ನಚಿಕೇತೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೊ ಉಪಮನ್ಯು ಉಪಮನ್ಯು ಋಷಿ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಋಷಿ ವ್ಯಾಘ್ರಪಾದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಉಪಮನ್ಯು ಋಷಿ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಲಾಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಉಪಮನ್ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಜೆಷನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಶಿವ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎ ಸನ್ ನೇಮ್ ಸಂಬ 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 ವಾಸ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಎ ರೀಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಮದೇವ ಓಕೆ ಸತ್ಯಪಥ ಋಷಿ ಶಾಖ್ಯಾಯನ ಶಾಖ್ಯಾಯನ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಶಾತಂಗ ಯೋಗ ಶತಾಂಗ ಯೋಗ ಶತಾಂಗ ಯೋಗ ಸತ್ಯವ್ರತ ಶಾಂಡಿಲ್ಯ ಶಾಂಡಿಲ್ಯ ಋಷಿ ರೈಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಗ್ನಿರಹಿಷ್ಯ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಥರ್ವಾನ್ ಋಷಿ ಶಾಂಡಿಲ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಹಿ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶಾಖ್ಯಾಯನ ಋಷಿ ದೆನ್ ಸುಖೇಶ 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 ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಋಷಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಋಷಿ ಭರದ್ವಾಜ್ he was a great botanist in his book supa shastra he deals with the functions of plants and grains and also cookery 3032 dishes and 108 varieties of pickles <laughs> he is one of the main figures of prashnopanishad also sukesha is the author of supa shastra 3000 dishes and 108 varieties of pickles sukesha great isn't it sukesha anybody named sukesha you know shukadeva son of vedavyasa he should also be listed as a rishi shaunaka shringa rishi rishya shringa uh, brother in law of sri rama who married rama's sister shanta devi hmm? and he was an expert in performing yagnas it was he who performed the putreshti yagna dasharada for dasharada which gave him four sons he also wrote a book on flower arrangement called, called malini shastra vishwashringa wrote a book on bouquets and flowers and flower arrangements malini shastra imagine sadananda rishi son of rishi gautama sandipani again guru of sri krishna bahusha sandilya and sandipani belong to the same gotra and same of both were interchangeably named or whatever ah uh, sandipani taught krishna 64 arts and shastras in just 64 days uh, so sandipani sun drowned in the sea so krishna found out the cause and he got back their son who was put into a conch by a demon uh, the panchajanya the conch is famous panchajanya it was the greatest guru dakshina any disciple could offer to his guru bring back bringing back his lost son dead son in fact rishi samiga panini uh, other of ashtadhyay on grammar book on grammar isn't it uh, and it's an important vedanga paila paila was given by rigveda by vedavyasa pippalada 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 son of rishi dadichi and suvarcha who abandoned him under a peepal tree from where he got his name but he was fortunate enough to achieve great heights and great honor uh, his uh, his discourses uh, to the rishis are included in prashnopanishad patanjali patanjali is also not included you see he is also a great rishi nimi matanga rishi matanga rishi advised shabari to wait for sri rama matanga rishi is credited with a rare book on photography shadow and attraction known as saudamini kala saudamini kala kala saudamini kala photography matanga rishi mrkandu markandeya rishi who is the famous for his markandeya purana he, he is a chiranjeevi ha eh? lord shiva made him a chiranjeevi uh, durga saptasati saptasati is there in markandeya purana mahidasa mandavya mandavya rishi uh, mandavya rishi uh, cursed dharma devata who had to be born as vidura and mandavya rishi gave the ruling that children below the age of 12 should not be punished for their actions maitreya 
disciple of Parashara. He taught Brahma Vidya to Vidura. Uh, he already he told Dhritarashtra that all his sons will die before the actual battle and cursed Duryodhana that Bhrima will break his legs <laughs> because Duryodhana was frequently slapping his thighs and nodding his feet. Maitreya Rishi cursed him. Rishika Maitreyi, she was married to Yajnavalkya eh? and her conversation with Yajnavalkya is there in the Brahadaranyaka Upanishad. Mandukya Rishi, Mandukya Upanishad which Rama recommends as uh, the best, smallest for Moksha, only 12 mantras. Lomasha, Lomasha Rishi who advised the Pandavas about how to go about their life in the forest. Hmm. Rishika Gargi, 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 Gargi is also known as Vidushi and Vachakanavi. She was the daughter of Vachakanu. She was in the court of King Janaka and included in the Brahadaranyaka Upanishad for her scholarly questions on Brahma Vidya. Bharata, known for Gandharva Veda, the science of music and dance. He is also his book on Bharatanatya Shastra hmm? and he remembered his previous lives, lives and got Brahma Vidya. So I will stop here. So we had a detailed discussion on Rishis and remember every Hindu is a descendant of Vedic Rishi. Yes, Sri Ram.